Hey guys, so I'm going to be coming to you guys with another solo queue series video. Basically, just like the last one, I'm solo queuing, trying to see how high I can get ranked and stuff like that. Um, I'm just going through the video and trying to see how far I can make it. I'm currently 4-1 for my placements, as you can see. Uh, I think I lost my last game, which was uh, super unfortunate, but it's whatever. Um, basically, in this video, I'm going to be doing just whatever roles I feel like playing, really, and just trying to win the game like that. Um, I know in the last video though you guys were commenting saying how you guys wanted me to play different roles and maybe roles that you guys play because solo queuing and this and that and the other. Uh, so if you guys want to comment below and say what role or what like operators and stuff like that you want to see me playing. Granted I do not have the largest operator pool as of now because I didn't really spend a lot of stuff on this account. Um, but like I said if you guys want me to do certain operators and stuff let me know down below. I can make like a poll or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah just let me know. Um, but without further ado, let's get into the video. Great. It appears that we got into a game. Last I checked, we're in like gold-ish elo, like gold 3, gold 2 elo. So it should be more around the range that a lot of you guys are in. Um... But, yeah, like I, just like last video, I think I'm going to end up banning Theme Park. I don't like playing Theme Park because it's a really team-oriented map. Hopefully the other team bans Canal. I just don't like playing Theme Park when I solo queue just because there's a lot of coordination required. But I'm not sure what my teammates are banning. We luckily got Theme Park. We were trying to we split the vote for Consulate there. Got me a little nervous. I don't like playing Theme Park. Yeah. So we're on Consulate. This is a pretty... This one requires a little bit of coordination, but you can get around. You can work around not really playing with your team as much. Um, luckily, well, we'll see how it goes. Um, let's start with the ban phase. I'm not really sure what they're gonna end up banning here. Probably a Blackbeard or a Jackal. Thatcher. That's interesting. I noticed a lot of gold games that they ban Jackal for some reason. It doesn't really become a big factor, but I wouldn't recommend it on this map. Uh, probably gonna get rid of Nomad here, just because Nomad's kind of annoying on console. It's kind of a crutch as well. A lot of people work around playing Nomad just because she's just, I don't know, she's just kind of, it's kind of a lazy flank watch. Uh, it's, it's a ways, lazy way of just like making sure you don't get hopped out on, just, and so you can run Claymores or watch them. But it, it's just kind of a crutch for a lot of people. I'm also interested if you can get rid of Valkyrie, just because we did ban Nomad and people are going to hop out windows. But they're going to end up trying to ban Malusi. I'm not going to persuade them. Malusi is kind of annoying to you. So, I mean, it's justifiable. Um, walking through Garage can be a little bit annoying, too, when you're attacking, especially because that Malusi trap, you're just kind of slowed. You're exposed to a lot of angles. It's just not really an optimal environment, so I get that as well. Maybe the other team ends up banning Valkyrie just because we banned the Nomad. We'll see. They also might ban Mira, uh, which is a seems to be a big ban down in this elo, so I don't know. Clash. Um, I don't really see a lot of Clash play on Consulate, but maybe they know something I don't. I'm not going to intervene, um, obviously this isn't, this isn't for me, you know, this isn't the ELO range that I'm used to, so maybe they, maybe there's some things I just haven't seen yet, and I'm just not going to be able to see now, uh, because Clash is off the board. Uh, starting off with Attack, I think I just kind of want to chill this game, vibe out, so I'll start off by playing on the Zoth. I can claim on my own windows for if I want to repel and stuff like that, so this all kind of works out for me. Uh, we luckily got a hard breacher. if we didn't, I would have six, I would have switched my pick, but... I think right now it's a pretty solid lineup. Whatever the last guy runs is 100% up to him. We already have our soft reach and buff, and we have Ash and Zoe, so we can get rid of our Maestro cams if needed. A Sledge is actually really good, because now we have Nades as well. This is actually a really good lineup for down here, uh, without actually having me to ask them to run or pick anything. This is this is really good. In the last game, I had to ask uh, ask for a couple operators from time to time, but this time this time around, I think my teammates are pretty competent. Um, <clears throat> so this should be, should be an alright game. I want to start off by, I think I like expressed this in my last video, where I just like to keep my drone. I think it's very important to me. I watch other people's drones, so the bomb's downstairs. I don't think I'm going to do anything too crazy here, just because the bomb state's downstairs. I might sit on console repel, because I noticed that a lot of people like to peek that window whenever there's a garage cake. So I might get away with a free kill. So I'll probably start there for about a minute, see what I can do. If I don't get a pick off of it, it's whatever, but... More often than not, I feel like if I if I break that window, I might get a kill just because of how people seem to love to play this map. Once the garage wall is open, they just love to peek that window. I don't know what it's about. I don't know what the obsession is, but I might be able to get a freebie. Especially if they have a roamer. That's a big cutoff point just sitting on console windows. Uh, but my ace already has a cam up here, surprisingly. That's interesting. I, I didn't expect that out of him, I can't lie. Maybe it's just for the spawn kill. He doesn't really want to get spawn killed, so he has his cam up there. Which just makes sense. I'm going to end up claymoring off yellow door just to avoid that run out. Potential. 
And there you go. Did I play more properly? Yeah, I did. Okay. Where's my drone? I need that back. Where you at, baby girl? Need you. Need you at me. Here you are. It's just abandoned on the wall, so if my... They, they're actually needing the drone wall. Which is surprising enough. I didn't expect that out of them. And my Ash is upstairs. She's roam clearing. I don't like that she's doing it alone, but it does show that she, they kind of understand what they're doing. To the most extent, so... I'll give them an A for, F for that. Shooting down the yellow door just to apply that pressure, even though my Ash is on yellow. They're even calming to each other, so they're not honest. She's kind of exposing her body here, but she does get the pick. I got room. They... Well, Mai's in the security hallway right now. Yeah, I kind of expected the flank. Um, let's see. Well, Mai just made an impact ball, I think, into kitchen. Last one's unknown. He could be flanking as well. Oh, he's back white. We can just post plan here. We already won. This consulate retake on this bomb specifically is super hard. It's not much you can really do here. They shot my other cam. But it's really not much you can do just with the angles that you have to kind of peek into. So post plan here is really pretty much a win. Oh yeah, that was a really good round. My Ash did she she did her job. She got her pick. She lit up a mine. Unfortunately she was a little too aggressive there. But she did do what she had to do. Um, she roam cleared by herself, which is a little sketch. But, I mean, the fact that she took in the effort is more than enough. There was the vigil roaming, so I must, he must have been hiding somewhere for her to not either get into engagement with him or die to him. But, at the end of the day, we won the round, so she got to look past that kind of thing. Um, we did switch to the Thermite, which is interesting. Because I think Thermite on this map is really good for Garage only. But he, like, of all the breaches, he's the best for Garage. That's because he can open those really big holes uh, over Ace. Um, I'm a fan of it. I am I have the bomb. Unfortunately, I grabbed it, but it's whatever. I can just, I'm not going anywhere risky, so I can just drop it off to him. But Thermite is a really good pick for the Garage site specifically, just because of the hole that he makes is a lot better than Ace's and Habana's. Uh, the only one you can argue is really Maverick, and Maverick is a little bit more time-consuming to the sense of the, getting that wall. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's still incredibly effective, but it just takes a little bit more, it's more of a time constraint. You don't have to worry about your people playing vertically or anything like that, because you can deal with the wall all by yourself, but overall it's a little bit more time-constructive. I think they're downstairs again. I'm not wasting my drone like I've expressed before. I love my drones, they mean so much to me. They're the most important thing to me in Rainbow Six Siege. Um... But it doesn't look like my teammates are droning. This is a bunch of audio cues for downstairs, though. I'm going to check the garage wall real quick. I think it's reinforced. Yeah, it is. Yeah, they're downstairs. So, yeah. Without sacrificing my drone, I'm able to identify the site and keep to moving. Uh, fortunately, we don't know any of the operators, but I think that's fine. We'll figure it out once the round starts. Their garage. The wall's banded or cated. Play more again. Wait the run out. Drop my ace. And back to the console repel. Where's my drone? I dropped it down. Oh, they're struggling with the bandit trick. Oh shit, two people ran out on me. Hmm. Unfortunately enough. Yeah, come in around, uh, in a hole. One's upstairs in console. I got off the repel on it. Unfortunate. Sure. No. Hmm. Unfortunate. I think we got the wall open, which is what matters. Um, my Ash just left. Did we get the wall open? Yeah, why'd they leaving? There's a Maestro game to the right of it. I can deal with that pretty effectively on my own. I didn't see a lot of it. burn. Got the Maestro game. My teammates are rotating, I'm not sure why. 
Oh, maybe they know something I don't. Unfortunately, they got they got my drone. I was on yellow stairs there, so I have nothing for intel. But pretty much default ink I should have to check. I don't have a drone, but my teammates are working something back side, so back white clear. White pipes clear. I'm trying to walk in here. They don't have any intel on me, so. Back white dead. That was rough. One's upstairs. Security. And back to the wall. I sure did. Last one's yellow. Fuse down. Bomb diffusion initiated. Protect the diffuser. Fuse down. Going right back. Reload here if he's white man. Oh, he baited me, but we traded. I, I kind of assumed that he was going to try to bait that. I thought I would have. Hmm. Unfortunately, we traded, but I still got the kill, I guess. Sophia's gun just does that much damage. Uh, we win the round. I really had to make the play there because there's really much you can do. My teammate left. We were kind of down, man. And I knew they didn't have much intel on me because I just read the Maestro cam and I didn't see the other one behind Black Car, which ended up being a kitchen. So it kind of worked out. Uh, unfortunately, not sure if that guy's going to join back, but I think he should still be in a decent position playing this game in a 4v5 as long as we play our lives a little bit correctly here. He probably doesn't have to play Thermite anymore because they're probably going to have to switch the site after losing it twice, but I don't want to tell him to get off of it and then them run Garage a third time. So we'll just see how it plays out. Uh, this last guy can play whatever. I think he was playing Buck before. Which was fine, because we had the flash grenades and the soft reach potential, obviously. So I think this lineup still altogether should work out. Unfortunately, we did lose the three ash charges, with our ash just kind of leaving the game. <coughs> Alright, so he's joining back. That's good. They're queued together. That makes a little bit more sense. Uh, there wasn't seem any confusion whether or not. It was just me who's confused. Um, I'm not sure. I, I, they might be upstairs. I think upstairs is a terrible sight. But, I mean, this is just ranked, so I'm not really sure. Um, we could honestly just do a console repel take here, but that requires a few positions that I'm not sure if everyone knows how to hold. I don't really think I know if I want to IGL an entire push, just because some people like to do what they want, and I don't really want to constrict how they like to play the game. Um, what kind of push do you guys want to do here? Five seconds before insertion. Oh, I put it up in the air, just to see if there's any coordination about, but it seems like we'll not be getting a response for that. So we'll just, I guess, work for picks and work from there. I think I'm going to start off on Connector Repel just because I, it's a pretty powerful position on this site. Uh, having Connector Repel is pretty big. I can see in a console, so a lot of people like to play close to that window. And I'm just going to play on my, my death valve first just so I don't get popped out on. I'm at band, so maybe they won't be ready for it. And that guy's back. Perfect. Seems like we're all kind of fluctuating on the west side of the map. Let me jump with the bomb outside this window first. I'm not like you with it the back here. We're already in a 4v4, which is a great position. Yeah, we evened out the man count, and we're looking good. Sure on this where I just put my face in it, <coughs> as I want to live. Bandit's playing inside a closet of console. I got Bandit. I got a rook. Alright, no one's uh, where I died. No one's, ban no one's where Bantic died. There's mm. one in that room. Valkyrie, big dice, and somebody can see. Hey, Buck, if you rotate, I can cover your cross and plant. And you can plant. Yeah, yeah, Buck. Do that. Try to go plant. Hop in, you're good. No, 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 the bomb's outside of console. You have to go, to, you have to go, you have to go outside. If the bomb's outside the double window. If he just repels in, I'll be Wait, he'll be fine. Someone on no, no, bomb's outside. Oh, oh. I should have the hold across here. I, I think he kind of understood what I'm talking about. I would have done it myself, but I have less health. And there would have been a good chance that if he wasn't covering something, I could have died. Plus, connector window is probably better than bathroom, because he can't actually see if anyone plays into connector. That's where I can. I find death. Here's someone coming. I'm not sure if they still know I'm on this connector window. Here's not. 
Not since Valkyrie. She might go below, which would be unfortunate. I have a flamer on my window. I'm getting back to the game, which is fine. He has good intent, so I'm not really gonna worry about it. She's crawling under my window. I think she's gonna try to play to kill me. She kinda has to. She wants to win just because I can see the bomb, but she's not, I'm not gonna give it to her, obviously. Played this post really well, and we win another round, even in a 4v5. I didn't even know he was playing below. I thought he was outside the windows. The perspective was pretty bad, though. I didn't actually look at his direction. I thought he hopped out and was just repelling low. Alright, well, we went all three of our console attacks. Granted, that doesn't mean too much, as consulate is pretty attacker-favored in the long haul, but I do appreciate that we won that last one, in, or the last two, technically, in a 4v5. Uh, I think we're just going to go in garage here. We can close out this game pretty easy. I'm going to hop on the Valkyrie. Uh, it's just how I feel like playing right now. I'm pretty, pretty chill vibes. Um, plus, I can use my Valkyams, maybe get some early aggression, get a kill or two. Uh, see what we can do. Secure the bomb. All right. Um, I think they're gonna get walls, so I might just reinforce a couple of these just so I'm helpful, not my team. And then I'm gonna kind of cycle around the map to cut these Valkyams. game. You know what I want. A little bit harder to see standing up, so we'll see if I can get away with it. Um, my last camera, I should probably put it backside just because I feel like they'll shoot the default cam, and it sounds like a visa push. So, we'll see. Yeah, they're joining Visa right now. They're already in uh, Buck and Obama. Got on cams early, identified the push. The Jaeger's in a pretty aggressive position there. Shot the drone that was by him. One Push. dropped. One dropped. He's in archives. Drop, oh. Kinda sounds like someone dropped, so I'm gonna hold this for a little bit longer. Unless that's my mice running around, I can't really tell. Yeah, it's probably my mice running around that I'm hearing. That main door? Where's that Sophia at? <coughs> Where's Sophia shooting at? I don't know, Cali and Habana are still like deep inside. Someone's outside of Yellow Steps door. Oh, it's Sophia. Okay. Habana and Cali are near me. So my vision might be going to help him? Why not? I'm all to help him. Just so he's not by himself, he's refraggable. They might be leaving him alone. And benches windows? Yeah, it's Sophie outside of a uh, yellow. Mm -hmm. There. I'm just gonna go back to site. There's only a minute left, and they don't really seem to be having a focus push. I'm gonna very good this door just so we don't get shot on our backs. But it's looking like this game's gonna be pretty much over. Uh, they're bonding the wall. My bandit, I think, trying to bandit trick this. I'm gonna try to get on his here and watch his yellow door. It's Cali and Bono. This just seems to be bandit tricking to some extent. I'll try to cover him. Um, they can't really use that for much. So, good breach. Um. Just gonna sit on top of the car. They can't really see me unless they like are pruning on the breach itself, which would be kind of troll. So I think this game is pretty much closed out unless my teammates feel like throwing. Um. Hmm. Um. Usual got kind of brave, just outside. 
Guess I'll troll a bit too. Ten seconds to go. You have been spotted. Five seconds to yeah. go. Yeah. Trying to take a sniper to me, I guess. It's interesting, but uh, GG. It was a good game. Um, what did I think this was like gold elo? I think my the guy who just lost just plugged his Twitch, so that's interesting. Um, okay. But, uh, yeah. That was a good game. I think, yeah, yeah we're on gold elo. Got a couple colds on my team. Finish another placement. But, um, yeah, that was good. Um, like I said before at the beginning of the video, if there's any other roles that you guys want me to play, like more or things towards you, I know the comments the last one you guys asked me to play a little bit more aggressive and more, like, fragging operators, so that's what I did in this video. Um, but yeah, like I said, if you guys want me to play like, your role or any other type of role in the future videos, just let me know. Uh, but anything else, uh, thanks for watching.